filming this intro from the bathroom i did film an outro with like my real camera the outro is still that video but okay welcome to my room tour i will use my man, but i will divide the video into chapters but yeah in this video i'm going to show you my room i'm a first year student at a university slash college on the west coast in norway and i do live like on campus I guess you could call it like in this building it is only possible for students to live and i know in the u.s it is super common to have like a roommate and you eat on campus and stuff in norway it's pretty different like the school doesn't make food for you like you can't buy in the cafeteria but it closes out like four and it is not normal to have a roommate like that you share a room with it is really normal to like share a house or apartment together with other people but you do have your own room in my case in this university building i have my own room my own bathroom that is not really common so i'm super grateful to have my own toilet and shower <gasps> spoiler but i do share a kitchen with 10 other people so that is why i'm in the bathroom right now i think i explained this in the room tour too but you can hear so freaking much through those doors so i was just feeling an intro and then someone came in the kitchen and i was like i really do enjoy living here but the only thing is being a youtuber and the door thing because i'm embarrassed even if i just like talk in my phone in my room they can hear that sucks so yeah i share a kitchen in the beginning i freaking hated that i did not dare to go out in the kitchen but now we've had a meeting where we like found our dynamic and stuff now like i really don't mind it at all we're not like friends friends we don't hang out there together and like when people make their food we don't talk to each other we're like listen to music and stuff but i that is totally fine and as i said i live on the west coast in a pretty small town and this town actually has the cheapest prices for students to rent in all of norway so if you care about that i pay about i think one dollar is almost 10 kroner so then I would be paying $435 a month which I don't know how that is compared to international prices but to have this big of a room in my own bathroom super close to university and grocery stores and everything that is pretty cheap and everything is included and I think that is what I wanted to say so let's show you my room so you come in here and here's like my mini hallway shoe rack with some shoes this is from yes super practical keep my backpack here an umbrella is necessary for this town and a headset for my hot girl relax this was here from before so i just put up a purse my keys my gym bag and my jackets of course moving on we see the rest of my room here's my laundry basket i don't really, like really have anywhere else to put it but it looks like pretty neutral here next to this thing like a shelf or something that was here from before i'm still kind of like feeling figuring out how to decorate it. I just have some like school papers here, fun books and my school books, speaker, lotions. Here I have my jewelry box and a plant. I also just realized this ceiling is so tall. I have not thought about that, but like, wow. This whole thing I can like actually put stuff on. So I'm like, should I do like a big picture here? Would that be kind of cute? I don't know, if you have any recommendations, like please comment. Next to this, I have a full length mirror. And that is from Yusk too. And then we have my desk. This was also here from before. That's just paper stuff. Here is like my notebooks and stuff. That head is so cool. It's from Ikea. The vase is from Ikea. And these plants are from Yusk. It didn't look that beautiful right now though. But that's my fault. They're like not really together but anyways this is where i eat dinner read if i'm just like watching netflix and relaxing i try not to do that here because then i can like make this area a study area and not combine this with relaxing so then i sit in my bed which we'll get back to but yeah i also do my makeup here the light hasn't been a problem yet but it will probably be in the winter this is my makeup if anyone cares this lamp was here before too <laughs> and over here i've hung up some plants these have lasted for like so many years but yeah anyways also if anyone read those notes it's from the magic book i can recommend just like if anyone cares because it says thank you for all the money i've been given throughout my life and the gift of health is keeping me alive just to like defend myself i don't just like put that up for no reason even though it wouldn't be the worst thing if i did that but like anyways moving on to my window i do think it's kind of sad of all like the views this town has I get like other people's apartments. From this angle, I have like a little hill, but I never like sit on my desk. I don't know if you can tell what the color of this curtain is, but luckily it's like a rusty red orange type of color, which goes along with my room. And luckily I got that color because the other colors you pull out here is like bright blue and green and yellow, which just wouldn't look super cute in here. So just small blessings. But anyways, now my bed. Also, I have this mini carpet from Rusta. If you haven't watched my like moving out supplies haul, I can link it up here. But yeah, this is my bed. It's a 120 bed, so like I am used to a little bit smaller and I love having a bigger bed. Yeah, I don't know how much more I can drag out this part. I do have space like under my bed. Over here, this is my snack shelf, currently super sad. Random stuff. Here's all my Kmart gear. Still out of space too. And here are cleaning supplies and new bedding and towel and stuff. Up there is a 
planned from Ikea. And then here is my closet. I decorated with some pictures here. I don't really know how many pictures I expected I had, but I really was hoping to like fill up this entire wall. Obviously it didn't work, so I gotta fix that sometime. Anyways, if you want to know what's inside here, workout stuff, pants, plastic bags, tote bags and purses. And then I have like all my jackets hidden behind there. And on this side, I have my tops, color coordinated, obviously. And under here is a lot of storage too. Lots of sodas from Sweden, more sodas, alcohol, bottles I need to recycle. So yeah, that is my closet. Moving on to the bathroom. That is in here. Actually, I don't know if I clean this up. But this is it. I just heard someone well, I share a kitchen with 10 others and a lot of people have like their rooms in the hallway But I'm one of the people that has my room like in the kitchen and you can hear a lot through the doors So when I heard someone was out there when I was filming so sorry for talking a little bit not enthusiastic and quiet But now I can shout I think so here is the door and this is where I take my dumps I was trying to think of like something to make that funny, but like it's true, but like it wasn't that funny it just kind of well, okay This had also like pretty high ceiling. Anyways, there is my towel headband for washing my face Here I have a little I don't know what this is called I keep my toilet rolls there, but there's only one left So I gotta write that on my grocery list makeup remover and then like my mouth hygiene stuff I know it's kind of sketchy to have the toothbrush this close to this But it is electrical and it don't have space here or in here So I just I try to keep it as far away as possible and then I close this so hopefully that's good enough if not maybe that's the explanation to why i've been sick this is my rug here and then my sink do you see how small this is i'm gonna try to have this around me now does that work so you can see how it is to wash my hands this comes down and like i don't have a lot of room here but like so much room here who came up with that? I've learned the techniques now though, but like, yeah. But what is even harder is washing my face in this little sink and then this stands out. So like half the water I use when I wash my face goes down here. But enough complaining. Here is a plant deodorant, hair clip, and then here's my hairbrush and a face mask. In here, I just have like the rest of bathroom necessities. Here's my shower. I usually keep this this way so it feels a little bigger, but yeah, that's my shower. So that was my room. If you want to see like my journey to moving in here, I made a video about that some time ago. I really freaking enjoyed here. I love having my own bathroom. It is such a short way to the university. I can literally throw a rock to the grocery store. And yeah, I just really enjoy my time here. So thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more study content. I feel like I'm such a, like, a student grind. And I freaking love being a student. Now I heard someone was in the kitchen and they can definitely hear me and I'm embarrassed. So I'm gonna just stop recording, but subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!